Welcome to Mansions of Madness. This is my, uh, I'm showing you basically my finished miniature set. <laughs> I finished painting them all. There you go. There they are, the monsters and the good guys. And yeah, so they're all done, as you can see. There, look. And they're based on the bases that come with it. And I've had a chance to have a bit of a play um, through with this game. And um, I'm already thinking I'm going to rebase them. Not the player characters because they're already on like a suitable basis. But the other ones are kind of ridiculous when you're trying to play them on the board. Because the bases are just too big. It's ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebase them to more suitable sized bases but there they are uh, that is them let's see if uh, we can get a bit closer in if i remove my camera from there let's see if we can get in a bit closer there we are so these what are they called again? The um, star spawn, I think these big ones at the back. Ghosts, yeah, yeah. You've got hunting horror. You've got the rioters, I think they're quite funny uh, the way they are. I'll just put them on a bigger round base. Uh, well, sorry, a smaller round base. What was I want bigger? I want smaller bases, not bigger bases. The cultists are the main problem. You put any more than a couple on the board, I mean, it's just covering the board with black plastic. It's not good. So, uh, yeah, I thought there must be some reason why you know, they, has to, they have to be in these bases. They don't. You can just take the card out. Um, it's probably not the best one. But there, I'll try to do this one-handed. All you need is the stats on the card, but the app takes tracks to the, the monsters anyway. That's kind of like his health, and that's his... Uh, like horror rating, test rating thing. So, yeah, so that's all you got to do, really. Uh, and the characters, that's William Yorick, I know. That's Agatha Crane, Carson Sinclair, Rita Young, Father Matthias, uh, Min Tai Fan. Oh, what's he called? Preston Fairmont. And I don't remember her name. <laughs> Sorry. But, yeah. There they are. Everyone is done. Everyone is painted. Everyone is all sealed in that. But yes, I've had a chance to play through this game. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. I love the the app and it gets very atmospheric. I'm sure it will probably get a bit um, samey after too many games. But um, I'm loving it. It's quite a good um, game mechanic. Slightly different to Zombicide. Whereas Zombicide, the horror lies in... You know, the sheer numbers of miniatures, zombies rampaging towards you. This one is more of a psychological uh, horror. You've got the, the, the sound effects and so on from the, the app, which I'll just put on an iPad or something. It's free to download, but uh, yeah, it really makes the game. Um, so yeah, there it is. My Mansions of Madness. Uh, second edition box set i'm gonna look out for the first edition because you can integrate that with this and i'll just go straight to normal bases for that one but uh, yeah i've got a few i've only got six clear bases here which um you know might do for my my cultists and the um, there you go my cultists there because they're quite a common um adversary as it were so yeah, I'll probably do that, and I'll see what I can see. I I got my um, basing box there, but I've only got six of these clear perspex pieces, which is a shame because they are absolutely brilliant for this. But um, not to worry, I will find a solution. There we are, though. That's it. Mansions of Madness, second edition, all painted up, and well, raring to go.
So there you go. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Remember all brushes lead tour, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.